Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let's take a look at creating slideshows using iMovie. So we're using iMovie version 10. Now let's take a look at building a slideshow using photographs in iMovie. There's so much you can do here. First of all, you have access directly to your iPhoto library from libraries here on the left. So to bring that up, you can see all the photos that you've got there. So let's start off by creating a new movie project. And then we'll simply set it to no theme. We'll name it. And then we'll look at the iPhoto library and you can see I can drag and drop. I, I can dig down into advance. I can look at my albums, things like that. But I'm going to drag and drop photos here and put a few of them right after each other. Let's shrink down the magnification here so I could see them a little more easily. And you can see right away they by default have this kind of Ken Burns effect where they, they zoom in and out like that. And we can adjust that pretty easily by simply selecting the photo there. And we can go to Adjust. And under Adjust we've got Cropping. You can see it's set to Ken Burns. And you have your Start area and you have your End area. So we could do lots of different things with this to animate the photo. And it's pretty self-explanatory how it works. And now if we move through here we could see let's uh, accept this by hitting the button again up there. And then we could see how it goes from one to the other. But if we don't want that, if that's not what we want, we can use Fit or Crop. And Crop will then fill the entire frame here while Fit will actually fit the entire photo in. But it's going to leave black bars on the left and right because the photo is a 4 by 3 photo where I'm doing a 16 by 9 video. So Cropping does this and I can then adjust what part of the, of the photo I want to include in there. And now you can see now along the duration of the photo if I scrub back and forth you can see there's no movement because I'm not using the Ken Burns effect there at all. Now just like with videos I can add transitions between the photos. I can use the same transitions that are used in the video. So I can just drag and drop those in there. And now you can see as you scrub across it the transitions like that. And you go apply the same effects as well. So I could uh, click on this video here and I could do uh, color effects like these. And I could do video effects as well. And you could preview there on the right what it looks like. And I could decide to, to stick one in. So by using an animated effect like say aged film I could actually even make it look like it's video because there's something moving on there. Now you're not restricted to just grabbing things from your iPhoto library from there like that. You can actually go from the Finder. So here's a Finder window and I've got a bunch of pictures and I could actually drag and drop a picture into the timeline just like that. So it's not even in my iPhoto library. And that works just fine. So you don't even need to use iPhoto for this. You can drag and drop a whole folder full of pictures into iMovie. It will throw them all together and create a slideshow for you. In addition, of course, you could also use titles. You could put the title over the photo. So I could assign some text there and just uh, select it and change the text very easily. I could also add text to, say, the uh, beginning of the video. So let's find something that, that works for that. Uh, let's say, let's use the standard here. And I can put that before the video and you can see how it drops in. So now I can have that as its own thing. If I want to change the duration of any of these I can select them and uh, under adjustments I can go to info and there I have duration right there on the right so I can make it twice as long just like that. But I could also drag the edges here if I don't need to be precise. And the same thing here with the title of course. So you could do just about anything you do with video you could do here with photos in a slideshow. And then when you're done you can share it just like a video as well. So you can share it to all the different same places before, upload it directly to YouTube. Um, you can export it to a file as well or send it to iTunes for greater compatibility with other things. Uh, and the sky's really the limit. You can uh, drag and drop music in 
So we could go to sound effects and music and uh, or GarageBand and grab some music that we've got and drag and drop that into here as a soundtrack. Uh, you can also use the voiceover ability in iMovie to record your voice and you can basically narrate the slideshow and export the video.